Ladies and gentlemen of Galaxy of Heroes, I got an important announcement to make. I hacked Galaxy of Heroes. Yes and no. Uh, today's actually going to be a really fun video because one of the things I've been seeing the community want for a very, 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 very long time is being able to increase the graphical quality of Galaxy Heroes. And one way of doing that is by increasing the frame rates because right now the game caps you at about 30 frames per second. And you guys have seen over the over time that there ha there is a way to get over 60 frames a second, uh, aka through a developer build, which I've recorded a lot of videos in the past from. And the gameplay looks so buttery smooth. And one of the biggest things people want is, hey, can we ever get this in Galaxy of Heroes? And today, yes, in kind of an indirect way. And if you guys don't understand what I mean uh, by 60 frames per second, let me just hop in here real quick. If you guys watched my stream yesterday, the reason why I'm making this video is because people have been asking me, yo, how are you making your gameplay look so smooth? And I wanna make this for those people who like the pixel push, get a lot of good graphic quality out of here. And also look, just look, I'm gonna slow it down for a second. Look how beautiful the graphics are. Look, everything is so smooth. It looks kind of like it's coming from a high-end console almost because of how clean and smooth it is. So I want to make this video for those that like to have a clean um, and fun gameplay experience. And also for content creators out there, this is a must-have for every content creator for Galaxy of Heroes. Being able to uh, make your gameplay look smooth and crisp and clean is something that makes just the gameplay and the video a lot more enjoyable overall. So I suspect we'll see a lot of content creators Kind of follow suit and take advantage of this buttery smooth 60 frames per second gameplay and i don't know if this is going to be possible on android devices or if it's going to be possible on ios but and i but i know it works for sure on pc and i'll explain how it works in a second uh so first things first the way this is working is i'm using an emulator called blue stacks as you see up here now i use two blues i use two emulators i use a, a thing called blue stacks and i use another thing called nox they both have their pros and cons i am not sponsored by blue stacks to make this video for you guys this is just me wanting to show you guys because i got a lot of questions on how i'm making my gameplay look so smooth and i don't know if other emulators do this but i know blue stacks does it a recent update that i updated to makes this all possible and i'll show you how to access that so firstly if you want to play this on your pc there's a link down below you can click on it you can also play it on mac but i don't think you can get the smooth gameplay the 60 frames per second gameplay on mac i checked it didn't seem to work so what you're going to need to do is first of all make sure you have uh you have the client version around this right here 4.1100 blah 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 blah. if you already have blue stacks in here and, and you don't see this right here these settings that says frame rate as well as enable high frame rates all you have to do is again click on the link down below if you already have blue stacks download it and when you open it up it'll update your currently installed blue stacks but if you don't have blue stacks at all click on the link down below you'll be able to download blue stacks for the first time it also should link you to the galaxy of heroes game and what you're going to want to do is this is i didn't really do anything too fancy all i really did is i uh once you update you're going to click on enable high frame rates i jacked this up all the way to the very top and by default i had two cores and 2400 megabytes of ram and i'll show you what the display counter looks like there you go as you guys see we're hovering around 60 frames per second let's hop into another battle right here we're gonna hop in here and as you'll see we're kind of doing something that this game has never let us do in the past and i'm hoping the developers kind of allow us an opportunity kind of like this emulator to kind of uh turn on the setting ourselves because not every device out there will be able to support such high quality frame rates but there are a lot of high-end devices out here so it would be great kind of like this emulator we can go into a setting and toggle it and say hey i want to have this high 60 frames per second gameplay because it looks so much smoother and it makes the game feel like it has a fresh coat of new paint and if you want to know how to be able to sync your current account over to your emulator i made a video way back when telling you how to play on pc or mac there's a link in the top right hand corner to check it out and see how you do that it's really simple to set up but hopefully this video is going to be helpful for content creators and those that like to make galaxy heroes feel fresh and new but there's a second purpose to this video today ladies and gentlemen oh look we got plus four speed yay we're going to show some more gameplay of the 60 frames per second thing in a second here but what i want to talk about today is something that we haven't talked about for a while and that is mirror matches the last time i made a mirror match video was about a month or two ago way before gear 13 was here and it was in regards to how to do a darth revan mirror match because the thing is darth revan is everywhere right now and before gear 13 came out and it's still kind of the same thing having a fast bass lashan usually means you can win the battle almost every single time however with gear 13 the speed thing has uh, increased quite a lot and uh, i am very outsped on my shard so it's impossible for me really to get a faster basilishan than the opponent and with darth malik hopefully arriving sometime in the next month or two we still don't know when it's going to arrive it, we're going to see a lot more darth revens 
and Darth Malix, even though right now the meta is already primarily Darth Revan. So I'm going to give you two strategies here today as we show off this nice, juicy, buttery 60 frames per second gameplay. I want to show you that, first of all, it is still possible to win, even if you're slower all across the board, your Darth Malik, your Darth Revan, and your Basil Shan is slower, you could still win if you kind of go about a certain strategy. And secondly, there is a way, if you have slower mods in your Basil Shan, I find that switching your fast mods over to Darth Malik helps you win a lot more consistently as well and i'll show you what i mean in a second so here we go we're going to go up against this guy first he's got 321 speed on his bass lashan as well as having 327 speed on his darth revan and unfortunately i mean the, th the problem with speed mods is that you got to play the lottery you don't you it, you could be farming mods forever and never get that amount of speed i have 319 speed over on my darth revan and i also have let's see what is it 313 on bass lashan and bass lashan has my fastest mod set in the game and i just can't get her to be fast enough than a lot of these characters here but i want to show you that it is possible to still win because eventually it's going to be primarily darth revan and darth malik the next time malik comes around because then all those leftover jedi Knight revan people who don't have uh darth malik they're going to end up switching over to this so as you see a horrible beginning for me i got corrupted battle meditation i got all these debuffs my darth malik has fear it sucks really the thing to do is you gotta really try your best to get that taunt off a of sith trooper and and you gotta really try to get shock if you can get shock over on sith trooper and control his taunt you can win the battle pretty much every single time because he just gets in the way of everyone and you want to take out characters like bass Sean fallen and hk47 out really quickly so we're kind of stuck here right now i'm gonna save my save my wild lightning just in case I get an opportunity to go and uh, be able to uh, maybe get uh, get my own shock out there. So we're still stuck behind this taunt. We're going to be stuck behind this taunt for a very long time. And because Darth Malik got fear, his cooldown increase on his buff, the spell capability. But that's fine. Hopefully, he's going to get triggered in a second. Right here. Perfect. So this is what you're going to want to do. Instead of using your uh, drain life ability, what I love to do is try to get this ability right here, torture, to go and apply shock. Because once you can apply shock then the Sith Trooper is going to be MIA for the rest of the battle. So now I can start going to town and doing my thing. And usually what I like to do first is go after Basta Sean Fallen or HK-47. And here we go. We have no Corrupted Battle Meditation on my Darth Revan right now. I'm going to slow down the graphics so you can kind of appreciate the quality of the 60 frames per second. Look how smooth that looks, people. So I'm going to take out Basta Sean Fallen first because it does get a little bit annoying trying to get these debuffs to apply when Basta Sean Fallen's kind of all over the place. And unfortunately, he triggered the death mark over on Darth Revan. And of course, he has no shock on him, so my wild lightning ability isn't going to do much. Let's just use our basic for right now. And hopefully, we can try to get uh, maybe Darth Malik to get in here, get a nice big hit in a second. Let's see. Come on. Someone get in here. There we go. So we should... We're going to take out uh, Darth Revan a little bit earlier than I would like to. But if the opportunity presents itself, go ahead and do it. We can maybe get out Bass Sean right here. Kaboom! There we go. She's gone for... And boom. And boom. And we're going to end up winning this match. So the point I'm trying to make is, yes, speed mods suck. But strategy at the end of the day is going to be most important because you should be able to outsmart the AI. And sometimes... Things are just going to go south and things aren't going to work in your favor. But at the end of the day, if you kind of go about this strategy and trying to control the Sith Trooper as early as possible, you should be able to win the battle. So that right there is just showing you if you're just completely bad with mods all across the board, not maybe your fault because luck isn't just in your favor, you can still beat teams that are way faster than you. But now... There is maybe an opportunity to try to outspeed opposing Bassless Sean Fallens, and I'll show you what I mean right now. All right, what I want to do is try to climb up so I can battle this guy. This guy literally has one of the fastest Darth Revans in the world. 350 speed. My goodness, props to him for having amazing luck and probably grinding really hard at mod. But this guy has amazing speed on all of his characters. And unfortunately, I can't get my Bassless Sean Fallen uh, to outspeed any of these guys. But what you could try to do is mod your Darth Malik to be the fastest character. So I put my fastest mod set on Darth Malik, and as a result, you can try to get out there quicker, get the shock on that Sith Trooper a lot faster than what I showed you before, so that way you can start picking off the rest of the teams. So let me show you how that works out. And just a quick tip, this isn't the team I'm going to battle, but I just I have to get past this team to get to the team I want to show you. But in the situation, you can get Bass Sean to outspeed the other one. What you want to do is just quickly throw out some Wild Lightning, boom. So that way the Sith Trooper isn't going to taunt anymore. So this, the, the, and then plus, you have to buff the spell now. So Sith Trooper is MIA. So this isn't uh, this isn't the team I want to showcase to you guys because this is one of the few teams I can outrun. But uh, in general, if you are going to be slower, you won't have that opportunity. But I want to make sure I tell you guys, in case you do have a fast pass of shot that doesn't get corrupted battle meditation, land that shock real quick so you can kind of uh, get around the team. All right, so we're about to wrap up this battle right here so I can show you the one of the fastest Darth Revan teams and Malik teams I have really ever, ever seen. And even though I'm very outmodded, 
I could try to make my Darth Malak faster than their Bastion and their Darth Malak at the minimum so I can get that early shock over on the Sith Trooper. So let me go uh, spend some crystals and I'll show you how it works. Now, a caveat to this is that I have to get rid of my offense set on Darth Malak and I highly recommend lots of protection sets and offense on Darth Malak because the more protection you have, the more the bigger his health pool is and obviously with his offense, it pairs well with all of his kit that he has because the more offense mods he has, the more deadly he is because of how all the dark infusion stacks he gets as well as the ferocity. Hopefully this is gonna uh, be a helpful tip is I'm gonna take my fastest mod set from Bastion Fallen and throw it on Darth Malak and it's gonna be very easy for a Darth Malak to outspeed a, an opposing Bastion because the base stats there's about a 20 speed difference between Darth Malak and Bastion Bastion being the slower character so 332 speed on my Darth Malak is much better than 313 speed on my Bastion and this should allow Darth Malak to get out before the opposing Bastion and apply a shock on the Citra but we are trading off a lot of health and a lot of protection as well as a lot of extra damage output so this is really only going to be a strategy if you want to try to get that early shock but as I showed you even if you're going to be heavily outsped by the opposing team you can still win but it doesn't take it takes a little bit longer to get the shock over on the opposing uh, uh Sith Trooper so really the point I'm trying to make is an early shock really helps along or just kind of timing out your shocks even if you can't get a fast Darth Malak is going to be the key either having a fast Darth Revan, which it's impossible for me every Darth Revan is going to be faster than me on my shard unfortunately no matter if I give him my fastest mod Bastion being fast can help you get those early shocks or in this case what I could do is get a shock on Darth Malak or a shock on Sith Trooper and actually I might want to get a shock on Darth Malak because my mods are a bit wonky right now and I want to maybe control Darth Malak because he's going to be probably the more annoying character uh to uh, to to uh to control so let's do this let's do a shock over on Darth Malak so he should stop taunting because look that shock right there that probably would have been pretty nasty that would have been very, very nasty indeed. And let's see, we can't do anything fancy right now, but I'd rather be hitting Sith Trooper than Darth Malak because if I kept hitting uh, Darth Malak, I'd keep getting fear over and over on me. So let's do this, get another uh, big AOE right here. Can't take out the Sith Trooper right now, but really just controlling the tanks at the end of the day is going to be important. Here again, we're kind of outrunning the opposing Basilisk Sean Fallen, so I can maybe get a second shock over here. Boom, there we go. So again, we're going to have a little bit less health then uh, we normally could be, uh, could have. Uh, what I'm going to do is probably go after Bastion first this time. Let's go ahead and do a let's uh, heal up a bit. There we go. And uh, we can't do anything too crazy, but maybe we can take out Bastion with the AOE. I really wouldn't want to do that. We have corrupted battle meditation. We're probably going to get a fear over on Darth uh, Revan here. Can we get rid of Bastion? Uh, no, not quite. Not enough. Not enough juice out of uh, our team right here. All right, come on. Let's see what we can do. Uh, let's see. We're still stuck behind this uh, death mark right here. Let's just might as well go after it. Better to go after that than uh, Darth uh, Malak. All right, let's see. We don't have enough juice, I think, here. Let's see what we can do. Big hit. Mm, not quite enough. Not quite enough. They're going after Darth Malak. Still probably not the best thing. Here we go. Let's just try to go after their Darth Revan. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, that was okay. So we had two horrible dodges right there. We're probably going to lose the battle. I'll have to redo this in a second. But uh, I, I guess that's kind of important to showcase because sometimes just weird things happen in life, people, where uh, you can't really control how things turn out. Wow, we totally lost our opportunity. We're probably going to have to redo this battle uh, in a second. Let's see if we can get a big hit right here. Boom, boom, boom. Not quite enough. Death mark should trigger. Uh, let's see. Can we get something happening? Yeah, so unfortunately, this time, we might lose this battle right here. I'm going to try my very best to pull off a big win right here, but I do not know if it's going to work out. All right, let's see. Darth Malak taking punches like a champ. Uh, let's see. Can we maybe uh, trigger? There we go. All right, we might be able to pull this off right here. Come on. Can we get a big hit over on HK47? That should do it. Boom! So that would be a lot higher if I had my offense set mods, but we don't, unfortunately. Let's try to get a shock over on their Darth Malak. So now the, now the key is making sure you keep landing shocks on Darth Malak so he doesn't uh, get any opportunities to heal up. And also, every time you're getting a shock, if your Darth Malak is around, which usually happens to be the case for me, uh, he's just going to keep wasting his drain life ability, hopefully over there. All right, there we go. Big hit. Uh, we're almost done here. Can we get another big hit from HK? Hey, there we go. So I that was the worst RNG I've had. Two major dodges on Darth Revan. Uh, we, and I thought I was going to lose, but that was one of the fastest Darth Malak, uh, Darth Revan, uh, Bastion teams I've ever seen. And it's personally the fastest Darth Revan on my shard. But if you kind of use shock to your advantage and try to pick who can you get to be the fastest, either your Darth Revan to open up with an AoE or your Bastion to be faster or your Darth Malak, there's got to be a way you can try to make at least one of those characters faster than the other so you can get shock, control Darth Malak, control Sith Trooper. And even if you're outsped by miles, 
you should be able to win. And even if you don't have any fast characters, like I showed you in the first battle, you could still win, but try to make it a top priority to land the shock on at least Sith Trooper. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. One, to hopefully make your gameplay a lot crispier. And hopefully I see a lot of content creators take advantage of this smooth 60 frames per second gameplay. And I really urge the developers to at least give us the opportunity. I know one of their concerns was not a lot of phones can handle it out there, uh, but it would be great if there was a way to either kind of block off certain devices from receiving this update or having a toggle switch where you can personally unlock the frame rates as if you had a developer account or as if you're on this PC Android emulator. Look how smooth that is. Oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. So thank you so much for watching. Comment down below on your thoughts. Was this strategy helpful today? Both the, the 60 frames per second gameplay as well as those Darth Riven, Darth Malak mirror matches because although I think the meta is going to shift soon, I'm pretty sure we got to wait for Darth Malak to come around first and then there's going to be something new. But in the meantime, Darth Riven, Malak mirror matches are everywhere in the game. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you did enjoy it, comment down below. Be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out. Party Richter, Party Richter. Down, 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 down. Party Richter, Party Richter. Son of a bitch. Party Richter, Party Richter. Down, 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 down.